Hello to everyone. I'm going to lead this devotion from Philippians chapter 1 in the NIV, if you would like to turn to it in your Bible. My devotion is on prayer, and I want to draw out one important theme about prayer, uh, which is knowing that we serve God and others when we pray. I found myself praying this week as I thought about this topic. Thank you, Lord, for making prayer ministry and service, for making it service to you, your kingdom, your people, and those who are not yet your people. This is a good realization to have in these days of social distancing. This awareness of prayer as ministry can center us when we pray and even motivate us to pray more often. In the opening words of Philippians, Paul shows us the way in terms of how we should pray for other people and how prayer becomes ministry. He prays from the heart. He prays with joy. He prays with concern. And he even tells the Philippians how he has been praying for them. Let me read chapter 1, verses 3 to 11, uh, hopefully capturing some of the heart behind Paul's prayers for the Philippians. So beginning in verse 3, Paul writes, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart. For whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. One phrase that I want to pull out from that passage is in verse 7 where Paul says, all of you share in God's grace with me. This points us to the reality that every believer is united in the body of Christ, and that together we share in God's grace. One of the ways that we see the Philippians are sharing with Paul in God's grace is that they pray for each other despite not being together. Paul writes in chapter 1, verse 19, that he knows that through their prayers and through the help that God gives, that he will be delivered from his trial, even though he doesn't know exactly what his deliverance will be. Because at the time of this writing, Paul is in prison, most probably in Rome, under house arrest, some 800 miles from Philippi. Yet through prayer, in the Spirit, as members together of the body of Christ, Paul and the Philippians are partakers of grace. They are in fellowship. This highlights that whether we are together or apart, God uses our prayers to build one another up. And even more, God uses our prayers to keep our hearts warm for one another. The reality is, is that for many of us in different ways, this has been a very hard year. 
political unrest, COVID-19, concerns about the congregation of Calvary, the good and right thing for us to do is to remind each other and call upon each other to pray. And I have to say that what I've learned is that for me, the weight of all of these concerns that we are walking through day after day is only coming off after I pray about them. Whether it's just for a few minutes or for a longer period of time. We need the encouragement that comes from prayer, both in giving and receiving pray, prayer. Praying for our circumstances, praying for others, and even just praying that those who are struggling will find renewed strength through our prayers for them is all ministry in the body of Christ. It's all service to God. It's all service to others because we do have fellowship with one another in Christ. Whether we're five miles from each other, 800 miles from each other, or right next to each other, truly we do. God bless you all.